the man works a shovel chipping at the dirt chipping at the dirt cutting at the earth working like a devil for whatever it is worth. music always came really naturally for me though I was supposed to be a drummer I come from a family of drummers my uncle was a drummer uh, my grandfather was a drummer. I was supposed to be a drummer, but it just turns out that I'm a songwriter now. My grandparents owned the first musical nightclub on Lake Minnetonka uh, back in 1949. They opened it. And the reason why I find that to be so fascinating is just because uh, back back then, uh, it was a small town. You know, things moved slowly back then, uh, and they, you know, but they brought they brought rock and roll, you know, to Spring Park. And uh, I don't know. I just I find that story to be kind of fascinating. You know, they were in business for about 25 years, I think, or so, and times change. My grandparents separated, and they both remarried, and and. Ultimately, uh, the history is still within our family. We still have these great, great photos, and music's just in, like, in my blood. I mean, if I didn't play music, I'd perhaps be a poet or a painter or an author or actor or something. I don't know, but, but music is, is very natural for me. I taught myself how to play the guitar, and I never struggled uh, I'm not trying to say that I'm some <laughs> prodigy or the best guitar player in the world, but uh, it just was never a it was never a bummer to learn anything. I figured it all out pretty quickly and got on with it. Pounding on my door and it's pounding on my brain. And the rain's crashing through my window pane that I can't even see through it anymore. I've written, by now, I've certainly written over a hundred songs. Um, songs come and go. Um, I don't remember them all. In fact, when I was, uh, when I had just turned 20 or so, I had actually thrown away all my music, got rather frustrated with my life, and um, took a break from, from playing music at all, and just ended up throwing my songs away and throwing any little recordings that I had and all my notebooks away which was very dumb. Nobody should ever do that. <laughs> um, but when I started back up after um, my son was born, uh, there was a, I knew that that's what I was gonna do for my life. Music is definitely where it's at for me. I was explaining to somebody the other day, by this time in my life, I visualize the song. Like, uh, I know uh, that might not make any sense, but I can like actually see the landscape of the tune, kind of like the construct, like melody resting on top of rhythm is, is super cool. And not to get all uh, hokey on you guys, but I mean, that's like the first thing that we have. Our hearts are beating and that's the rhythm of life. So, I mean, we have air, we have water, we have food, and we have music. I mean, what is a song but an emotional response to life? You know, uh, if somebody passes away, or if you fall in love, or if you hate or loathe something or someone, if, if, if you're an artist, you're gonna articulate your feelings on that. Never Say Goodbye was written for a friend of mine's daughter, um, one of my best friends had passed away uh, and I didn't know. I had spoken to him the night that he died. Uh, we had chatted a little bit on the internet and that was the last time that I, that I 
had any correspondence with him. And I didn't try to check back in with him for, for months, for three or four months. And uh, it ended up being his birthday. And I, I went on Facebook, went on the internet to wish him a happy birthday. And I realized that everyone was uh, commenting on how much they missed him. And I felt like I had been, like the floor had been taken out from underneath me. It was very bizarre. He was one of my best friends. The closer I got with, you know, his daughter and checking in with her and just, just watching her life um, and dealing with it was, was life-changing for me. And uh, so I wrote a song and I, it's dedicated to her. Uh, it's, it's, it's for her and her dad. Fall away with me Into this life that no one knows Fall away with me Falling like a silent snow I see your face like the reflection of the sun It's enough to make me cry Did I see your face? Well, there's no way of knowing I will always wonder things I need to say, I will see you on the other side. Though I know that you are gone, as I sit and sing the song, I can feel you right here by my side. Oh, the world is still turning, the sun is still burning, even when we close our eyes. We're so far away now, our hearts are still close and all. What has happened is, is music has opened up this door for me to see the world in a way that I can comprehend it. Even down to the simple uh, happiness or unhappiness, being sad, uh, being uh, joyful, uh, or even being analytical about something, it all kind of ties back into music for me. I mean, if we weren't allowed to have music in our lives, if we lived in some crazy planet where we weren't allowed to express ourselves, I'd probably be dead inside. <laughs> You know, so yeah, music inspires me just to just to carry on in general, and I think that I think that's all pretty much any human really seeks in life, even if they don't realize it. They're just trying to find purpose in in, in the everyday. Visit pioneer.org/postcards to catch up on missed episodes and to find out more about your favorite segments. This program on Pioneer Public Television is funded by the Minnesota Arts and Cultural Heritage Fund with money from the Vote of the People of Minnesota on November 4, 2008. Additional support provided by Mark and Margaret Yakel Julien in honor of Shalom Hill Farm, a nonprofit rural education retreat center in a beautiful prairie setting near Wyndham in southwestern Minnesota. ShalomHillFarm.org. Live wide open a regional movement that encourages people to make a great life for themselves in West Central Minnesota. More at livewideopen.com. Alexandria, Minnesota, a year-round destination with hundreds of lakes, trails, and attractions for memorable vacations and events. More information at explorealex.com.